Hey guys, so most of you guys know that my kickstand broke on a off-road adventure that I went on a few days ago and it caused me to high side and uh, barely make it out of there. Um, Himalayan made it just fine. Um, but what happened was that um, my nub on my kickstand broke. It snapped off, it caused a spring to uh, snap and um, my kickstand went down and I turned left and my kickstand was down and caused me to high side. So bad, bad news bears there. Well, I wanted to know what it would take to get a, a new kickstand. They're not too expensive. I could get it warrantied, but they're like 28 bucks. But I was really concerned that um, they weren't super strong or reliable. I've heard people welding nuts or uh, kind of bolts and nuts because this it was just the, the mushroom part that broke off. So I've heard people welding nuts on there, stainless steel to get it on there. Uh, I had a, another Royal Enfield enthusiast, uh, Charles Blevins. Um, he has friends in India and they sent him a, a few different aftermarket kickstands that are more robust and better than the standard Royal Enfield kickstand. So he sent me one. I just paid for shipping. It was really awesome. Big shout out and thank you. Um, and I'm going to install this today. We'll take a look at the difference of them and uh, what it takes to install it. So there's my Himalayan. Go ahead and uh, take a peek in here. You can see it's getting held up by a bungee cord. I'm gonna go get a little closer and see what it takes to install Okay, so I'm gonna do the replacement with just using the uh, stock tools from the repair kit. I think what I'll need is a 10 millimeter wrench to take the shifter assembly off and then um, looks like there's just an allen set wrench to, to unscrew right there so i'm gonna go do that um stay tuned take a look and uh we'll get it done let's go Here we do. Can it come off? I think so. Perfect. All right. It is not the standard Allen set that comes with the kit. Okay, a little complicated to get it done. It was an S2 5.5 bit with an adapter. And let's see what we got here. I'm going to take a look at the difference between these ones. All right. So this is a stock. This is the aftermarket. See the heads are a little different. I'm really not sure. Uh, more importantly, let's take a look at these parts. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is get a little grease. So I'll be right back. I noticed there's some grease in there. I'll get some grease to put in the, the kickstand there. Okay, I'm back with some grease, some heavy duty grease. Got some Lucas oil products, heavy duty grease, a glove. I really don't care to get my hands super dirty. Oof. on and just reinsert all right oh, there it is plenty of grease on this bolt already looks fine Alright, let's go get my tool set. 
ratchet. There we go. Feels pretty tight. I'm not being too tight. What I'm gonna do next is figure out how I'm gonna put the spring on. I think it goes up here. And let's see where where did it go? I'll have to get back to you on that. Okay, I think I might have figured it out. I'm going to put the spring on first. All right, and then wheel this around to tighten. Oh yeah, I think I figured it out. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so spring first, then put this guy on. Holes line up okay. There we go. All right, well, I tried it. There's a little bit of play but I think it's built that way, a little tolerance. And while I have it, I'm just putting both of them side by side. This is a little more thicker. This is a little thinner. Everything else looks about the same. Hoping this nut holds, or that little tip there. Um, clicks it just fine. So now this comes back on again. Feels good. I think that's it. What I'm gonna do now is uh, take a look at it on its side stand, clean up, and uh, we'll see how it stands on the side okay, stand. The bike is done. Uh, the couple of the takeaways that I got is I was carrying a bungee with you. I will do that. Remember, you need a 5.5 set to go in, so I might keep that with me. And sitting just fine. Here's the stock height. Seems to be exactly about the same size. I'm gonna go riding, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So. A little tight I might loosen that up a little bit but please like and subscribe if you like the video leave me any comments if you have any questions about the install and uh, enjoy your Himalayan <laughs>